Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. So today I was going to give you a look inside, sort of a flip through of Friendly Biology. This is a course that Timber Doodle uses in some of their kits. And so it was given to me to give you a look at and just share what I see here. So it is a high school level biology course and I just wanted to take a look inside it with you. I'm going to start out by going on the computer and showing you the website for Friendly Biology. And then I'm going to come on over and show you inside of the books here. I will also link a link to the Friendly Biology on Timberdoodle site in the description box below if you're interested in this course after taking a look at it with me. So one thing I like to do when I am looking at a course and learning more about a course is to go to the website of the curriculum company that sells the curriculum. And so here it says Friendly Biology opens the world of biology to high school students in a gentle, non-intimidating manner. Students are led through meaningful, well-written lessons and lab activities with the goal of attaining a greater respect for the beauty and complexity of living things. And then it talks about the topics covered here. We're going to be looking at the book and the table of contents, so I'm not going to go through that. It says there are 464 pages, 28 lessons, and there is a flip through video if you go to their sample lesson tab. So there's some stuff over here. So we have like the table of contents here. So you can go and see that online if you would like to. There's sample lessons. So they give you, they have some videos here that you can take a look at. So different things here. We have labs. So Friendly Biology is chock full of meaningful, safe, hands-on labs, which create a multi-sensory experience for the learner. The labs are tightly correlated with the concept being presented in the lesson. Most of the materials and equipment needed to conduct the lab are found around the house or can be readily purchased at local grocery stores or hardware stores. And so here are the different labs that they have here. And then they have like a list of all the supplies. So that's all here available if you want to know ahead of time. Here's a PDF of the lab supply list and a biology lab report template. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so they have a basic lab report template. So lab report for lesson what, title, purpose, materials gathered for this lab, an overview of the procedure I followed for the lab includes, before I completed the lab, I thought that I would observe or learn that. Things I observed in this lab included, I learned in this lab that my conclusion blank. All right, so very simple one page lab report. I will not say that I'm an expert at labs. I don't even think I did any, honestly, in my high school years. So I really have not yet gotten to the world of lab sciences. So I'm not sure how that compares. Video instruction. So this is something that you can get additionally. You can purchase additional video lessons. These are not required for the course. The three books that I have that I'm going to show you are the ones that you need for the course. But if you would like the video license, they have an order page here. And I believe it's good for one family for the lifetime of you want to use the course. I hear the videos can be quite lengthy, but they are kind of a nice addition to just expound upon what the student has read in the book. So if your child is a visual learner, that might be something you would want to look at. It looks like they are $9.99 for the videos and you get to keep that for the duration of all your children. So there's that. There is frequently asked questions. How many lessons are there in Friendly Biology? There are 28 lessons. Lessons range from 10 to 25 pages of text. Time to complete a lesson varies between one and a half to two hours. We recommend doing one lesson per week over a school year. So that would mean about 28 weeks. That allows some opportunity to take a little longer as needed, to not feel so rushed. So I sort of like that. How do the videos fit with the textbook? The video lessons are designed to augment the textbook. They are not designed to take the place of the textbook. We recommend students follow along in the textbook as the material is presented in the video. 
Some families have reported success by having their child view the video first and then read the text material. Others have found that reading the text material first works well, followed by viewing the videos. So are the labs included? Yes, there are labs included. It seems like there's about one lab per lesson. Is a microscope required for friendly biology? It is not required for friendly biology. So the microorganisms discussed in lessons are viewed using high quality photographs. In order to be successful at viewing these tiny creatures in a lab setting, a high powered quality microscope costing several hundred dollars would be required. Making such an investment for the limited use in the course is not necessary. If experiences using a microscope are desired, we recommend visiting a local community college lab or local vet clinic where quality microscopes can be used. Okay, are there worksheets? Yes, there are. We're going to take a look at those in a minute. Are there tests? Yes, there are. We're going to take a look at those. Can completion of friendly biology suffice for a high school science credit? Yes. And then what is the difference between the Christian worldview version and the secular version of friendly biology? And the one I'll be showing you today is the Christian worldview version. So the Christian worldview version of friendly biology gives credit to God as the creator of all living things. This credit is omitted in the secular version. The theory of evolution is not included in either version, and it is our goal in writing the course to present current accepted observations of living creatures in today's world. So that answers a lot of questions for me when I go into using a science course. And then what are the credentials? I know that the two authors, Joey and Lisa, I'm forgetting their last name right now. They are homeschool parents. They also have, like Joey has a ton of degrees in education and, and science, looks like a graduate degree in veterinary medicine. And then Lisa also has what graduate work in the College of Veterinary Medicine. So some doctorates. Yeah, so they, they're definitely qualified to write a biology course, in my opinion. Okay, if I need help teaching friendly biology or setting up a lab, can I get assistance from you? They say yes. An aspect that sets our curriculum apart from others is the fact that we are available five mornings a week to help you teach your course. We can be reached by phone, text, or email and are always ready to help you be successful with your students. All right, so that's very unique. Are dissection labs included in friendly biology? So because dissection labs can be somewhat difficult to manage, we have provided an alternative approach through live videotape dissections. These dissections were made on fresh animal specimens, so color, appearance, and texture are more accurate than with preserved specimens. We are pro-dissection when at all possible, and instructions for completing dissections similar to what is shown on our video is strongly encouraged. So you can go to their video page for more information. If I purchase the video series, is there a limit to the number of times I can view it? Does my access to them expire? So they say no. Once purchased, there's no limit on the number of times you can view it. Can I use videos with a co-op group of students? Yes, you can. We only ask that if a family wishes to view videos outside the co-op setting, that they purchase their own subscription to view them. So very co-op friendly. So those are some frequently asked questions that you can find answers to here on the page. We have an author page here, just talks about the authors. And if you want to see reviews, we have a bunch of reviews here. All right, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the three books I have to show you here. Okay, so I have the textbook here. I have the student workbook and the lesson test and answer key. So let's take a look at the textbook here first. So, so it's definitely color, colorful. Very nice. Okay, so here's the table of contents and the number of lessons. So we have 28 lessons here. So we have the characteristics of living things, a little chemistry, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, pH, cystology part one, cystology part two, cell division, chromosome duplication, protein synthesis, methods of reproduction, genetics, taxonomy, kingdom Amelia, kingdom Amelia again, Kingdom Plantae, Kingdom Monera and Viruses, Kingdom Protissa, Kingdom Fungi, Body Systems of Movement, Body Systems of Nutrient Delivery, Acquisition of Energy Sources, 
body systems of waste management, body systems of growth and development, body systems of reproduction, sensory systems of the body, and ecology. So it covers a wide range of topics there. All right, so here is a look at the first lesson. So characteristic of living things. We have some bold words here. We have some definitions down here. The words are nice and spaced out, not tiny. So not overwhelming to look at. Here's some key facts. So living things move, living things reproduce, living things need a source of food or energy. So just some key points as you go through. Living things grow and develop. Here it says, write or draw a picture of the results of your experiment here. Living things respond to their environment. Living things move, reproduce, require a source of energy, grow and develop and respond to their environment. And then here is the lab activity, growing a pet potato plant. And then they have some pictures to go along with the lab. So that is lesson one. So pretty simple. Let's take a look at lesson two here, a little bit of chemistry. So just looks very colorful to the point, not overwhelming, not a whole bunch to have to do in one week. I can see how the video lessons would really just help to expand upon what they're learning. And then we're at the lab activity in quest of carbon, a marshmallow inferno. And then they tell you how to do that experiment. All right, so that is, I'm gonna just flip through a few more. Let me flip to the middle here so we can get a look at what it looks like here in the middle. Okay, so taxonomy. Some more definitions. Okay. So I'm going to take a look next at the student workbook and we can see how this would go along with this textbook. All right, so that is sort of what the textbook looks like. Lots of beautiful, colorful pictures. So I have heard that this is a really good biology for a student who maybe is not super interested in biology and they just want the basics. However, definitely thorough enough. It has lab experiments and all those things that you would need for a biology. So here is the student workbook. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this one is black and white and it has all the lessons, the table of contents. All right, so what do we have? We have our pets. So we have some pets, <laughs> must be their pets. If you have pets, draw them here. Practice page one. So instructions, fill in the blanks with the appropriate word, refer back to the text portion of the lesson for help. All right, so we have some fill in the blanks and read each example below and tell whether which form of evidence of life is being demonstrated. For ex some examples may have more than one evidence of life present. So a puppy chasing a ball, movement. So we're saying, why is it a living thing? What does it show there? All right, so we have different things here. Choose an animal in your home or one you are familiar with, tell what it is, and then give four pieces of evidence that tells you it is a living thing. For example, if you choose your dog, a piece of acceptable evidence is that it needs to be fed every day. So what is the thing and what are evidences for that it's a living thing? We have a, like a crossword puzzle here. And then this would be lesson two. So lesson two, we have fill in the blanks. We have multiple choice. We have a crossword puzzle. So, so it looks pretty similar. Here is a word search instead of a crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle, word search. All right, so it has some worksheets, not a lot. Looks like about two, maybe three or four pages a week. So that's not overwhelming. All right, so that is just all the practice sheets. So you could just hand this to your child. This would be their workbook. And then here is our lesson tests and answer keys. Okay, so we have lesson tests, pages four to 68. Test answer keys, pages 69 to 70. Practice page answer keys, 71 to 57. 
Okay, so here is the test. And the fact that the answer keys are in the back, <laughs> I would like to pull these out. So I'd prefer if this was like two-sided because I would want to pull these out. I wouldn't want to just hand this book to my kids. Uh, looks like multiple choice questions. And each test is two to, it looks like four pages long. All right, let's see if they have any other sorts of questions here. All right, so looks like mo looks like multiple choice questions. So the tests are multiple choice. And then here is the test answer key. So it's just telling you the answers to the multiple choice. Answer keys for the lesson practice pages. So we have all the answers here for the fill in the blanks. So they have the answer keys for all your worksheets. And then do we have anything else here? I think that's it. So that's what this book has. So I also know that for a science program, this is quite affordable. So under $100 if you just go with these. And then if you get the video lessons, like I said, you can use it for your whole family. So if you have more than one child going through this course, it becomes a lot more per child, more reasonable. But $200 for biology, including videos, is not a ton. Of course, then there is labs as well, the lab things as well. So that you have to keep that in mind. So that is a look at friendly biology. I hope that's helpful. It does look very friendly. It looks simple, but it looks like they still learn a lot of things. If you need a no-nonsense science, your child just wants to do science and get it done and learn enough, but not be overwhelmed by huge amounts of information, I think this is a great science course to go for. All right, so thanks so much for coming today. And if you like reviews and flip throughs and things like this, don't forget to stick around. Uh, give me a like if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for coming today and I hope to see you all in a future video. Bye everyone.